Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Entertaining Interviews. Today I am joined with... Me, Tim. I'm a filmmaker and I fix broken IT stuff. Which is a pretty good summary of things that I do, really. So when I say I'm a filmmaker, I do a number of different things. I provide um, film gear to crews for making films. Um, I make films and short films, um, and uh, we'll be getting into some feature film, feature film very shortly myself. Um, though I do spend more time helping other people make their films than working on that. I also make a lot of YouTube videos, like this fellow here does. Um, and I've got uh, three different channels. I've got my vlogging channel, for a month now I've been threatening to sit down and start a video log and haven't done it. So here it is, my video log. It was a normal Sunday morning, I was laying in bed About to die in the middle of a dream, but instead I was awoken by a ringing in my head And I said to myself, I feel like shit, but at least I'm not dead channel that's just getting started off called YouTube Video Tips. Hey, welcome back to the 48 hour film series where we're going to try and teach you as much as we can about shooting a short film in just two days without needing a huge budget. Today we're going to be talking about the basics of three point lighting. And another one where I play Minecraft um, in the hope that teenage kids and young teenage kids will binge watch it and make me a shitload of money. <laughs> and there you go, one lighthouse. So that's our lighthouse. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's the first time I've built a lighthouse. The good thing about being on a film set is that there's heaps of time where you're not doing anything. Um, mm. Which is why they say moving making is all about hurry up and wait. And um, while I was hurry up, hurrying up and waiting today, I decided to sit down in the middle of the National Park where nobody else was there because I was looking after some gear. Mm -hmm. And um, I just sat down and started making another vlog on my phone. And uh, the great thing about vlogging is you can create something anywhere you are. What got you into uh, vlogging? Um, basically an extrovert extroverted kind of drive to want to be famous and recognized and admired by millions and millions of people. No, but the, the other drive, uh, which, is, which is more of a thing, is um, being able to just have the ability to create something and make something every day. I really want to do more of the gaming stuff. A lot of people do the gaming stuff, though, mm. so I'm, I'm having a look around to find some sort of... Tell us a little bit more about your... Uh... Your directing, your your future plans, your past plans. What have you done? Oh, well, I've got I've got a few movies in the pipeline that I want to shoot, um, but they've been in the pipeline for a long time, mm -hmm. as uh, most people in some sort of position would tell you. Um, the one in particular that I'm hoping to be able to wrangle up some funding for is we want to go and shoot a murder mystery on a cruise boat mm. um, in 12 days. It'll be easier than the 48 hours because you won't be trying to cram that story into that 5 minutes or 7 minutes or whatever um, Ant tips and lets us have this year. Um, and if Ant, you happen to watch this, 7 minutes is way better. Mm. Crushing it into 5 is an absolute ass. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a, it's quite a mission, even as um, you know, for crew and also for an actor to, you know, pick up a script, read it, get into character, shoot it. That's it. You know, as an actor, you don't get that chance to build that character, put on that character, and actually become that character. You just got to be a kind of like human and portray that character. That kind of makes sense. You yeah, know? I've I've tried being human before. It didn't work didn't work so well. For oh, me, so. Well, yeah, I'm, I suppose I'm talking to the wrong person about being human. <laughs> is in the lines for Tim Simpson? Uh, we've got a horror flick that we um, 
were thinking about doing um, a few years ago that I'd like to have another whack at. Mm -hmm. um, I, would, I would really like to be able to, and, and this is absolutely ridiculous, and I have no idea how we're going to pull it off, but I would love to be able to shoot a Z-grade horror film in 48 hours. I just sort of came up with this idea of how can a group of us complete nutballs get together um, and plan and plan and plan and plan and plan and execute a feature film of some sort in 48 hours. <laughs> There's, there's no reason you can't do it. So something I want to just briefly touch on. Um, you guys would have seen a quick interview with the lead actor from Rata today at Armageddon. What did you do on set? What did that involve? Um, I supplied gear for that that one, mostly uh, helped with lighting and things like that. Um, I didn't didn't do a lot on set. Um, but yeah, being being around that was, was really interesting. Um, the director of that, Rich Turner, is a good mate of mine, um, and he just does absolutely fantastic stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I encourage anybody to go just look up Rich Turner on IMDb, you'll see links to some of his other films there. And uh, yeah, basically anything he puts his hand on turns pretty well at the moment. No, it's There's always good when you find that good network of... Um like-minded people when you click and then you know it's not always about the money when it comes to that because you work well as a team it's a good story good experiences yeah yeah the, with a lot of film it's interesting you talk about the money because that's a that is a, a large problem in the um, film industry in New Zealand and, mm. and while there are pools of funding available they're heavily contestable and they're very small filmmaking in New Zealand could become very easily our biggest export. There's so much space and so much capacity for us to grow mm. so fast, and you know that that could be our, our number one export in a in a couple of years if we if we really went into it. Tim's not always been the guy behind the camera. I I like being in front of the camera as well. Um, I I grew up through school and. Um, and afterwards on stage a lot and I absolutely love being on stage I, I like to go get a lot of extra work it's a great place to make contacts and mm -hmm. um, it's a great place to go and see how other people work so um, I had a chance to go along be an extra on Avatar I was also an extra on The Hobbit which was absolutely fascinating as well um, get the bat I'm super jealous. Yeah. I was meant to be an extra, but they never got back to me after the initial call of, oh, I would like you to be an extra after that. Couldn't hear a damn thing. Yeah, I'm given, jealous. Given you're about a foot shorter than me and I got cast as a dwarf. That's what I was meant to be going at. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, went along and I had all of the, the big boots fitted and the costume all done and I had all the prosthetics made and everything mm. and had uh, went and spent a bit of time like a lot of the other dwarf extras did with Peter King and that guy is just wonderful to work with as well. But um, the, the extras casting agency um, in Wellington is that works with, with Pete Jackson stuff is ab they're absolutely wonderful people and they, they're really keen on helping people mm. have a go at things and if you're enthusiastic and um, talented and awake and you're willing to do do your bit and be there then they're willing to help you out and they, they really want to help people which is really good. it's been good um it's been lovely to chat with you tim thank you for your time no problem uh is there anything that you'd like to add to the interview anything any ending thoughts uh only that i'm incredibly hungry and um, rather sleep deprived and um starting to forget how to speak english but um that's what happens when you're working long days over Easter. Anyway, thanks for watching his vlog. Don't forget to click on that uh, subscribe button down there somewhere. And uh, the notify bell next to it, click the like button. Leave comments below too. Leaving comments is really important. And then when you've done that, you can uh, click on um, this round icon here to subscribe to my one. And this round icon here to subscribe so here's one, and go watch all of our videos. At the end of this video, there'll be a circular subscribe section for Tim Simpson. Be sure to go and check out his channel, watch all of his videos, give him a big thumbs up, all of that jazz. Uh, keep him 
enjoying what he does because he does it for all you viewers. And yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Cool. Thank you very much, sir. Awesome. Thank you.